is going on YouTube? It is your boy J Man. Now look, y'all. I know y'all see the title of this video, but I'm serious with this one. Like, I'm really starting to consider to not buy a 2K25. Um, and a lot of it has to deal with um this game right here, NBA 2K24. Um, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe. Let's try to get 35 likes on this video. I know I've been slacking lately on videos, but I mean, if we want to be honest, y'all, what is there to talk about? We're not getting any NBA 2K12 information. NBA 2K24 is completely dead. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. When that that like I told you, that new game drop, I'm done with 2K for the rest of the year. Um, I promise you, especially if that game has you know a great start, I will be done with NBA 2K24. And I'm like I said, I don't probably want to buy 2K25. Um, and let me explain this, by the way, because you're going to have people in the comment section say, oh, that's what happens when you only play rec. Nah, dog. I've played theater. I've played park. I've played starting five. All of it is some bullshit, okay? And especially the theater and the park. And I told you guys why I don't play those modes. Um, because they're arguably worse than the rec, right? Um, it's just a bunch of idiots that have no basketball IQ. Um, and you're going to have people in the comments that say, oh, well, you're not running with people that you don't know. And again, I'm tired of y'all, not all y'all, but I'm tired of some of you guys thinking that running with people makes the game better. It really doesn't, bro. Um, you know how many times why we play Squad Rec? Matter of fact, like I told you, but y'all don't see me live stream. Go to T's YouTube channel. We, she live streamed last night. We was playing and dealing with this bullshit, bro. Um, plus... Don't even get me started with the servers, bro. Um, like I said, my, I just feel like it's time to move on, y'all. I honestly feel like it's time to move on. It was just in the last rec game, dude. Got mad. Two grown adults, right? Arguing, okay? Arguing over some stupid shit. To where the guy, oh, yeah, I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna throw the game. Like, okay? Like, and then they, and then they on the mic laughing like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Y'all, we about to lose, y'all. I'm like, dog. And y'all know why I do it. The only reason I do that is if it's some bullshit. But, dog, we were winning the game, right? And guess, and guess why he throws the game? Because he said that he's not getting the ball. Mind you, he's getting destroyed inside the post, right? He's not getting rebounds, right? So if you're not getting rebounds, you're getting destroyed inside the post, why do you deserve the basketball? And then when you get the ball, you have no moves. It's you know like the situation y'all to where somebody's like complaining they're not getting the ball. When you getting the ball, nah, I don't want it. Cause you really trash. You see what I'm saying? And they know that. But like I told y'all, if you do to the channel, like, subscribe. Um I don't know what you're talking about, that a hiccup. But I've said this numerous times. Um the overall experience is why I'm ready to move on from 2K. Um, I, I like I'm like I'm for real. And then somebody on on the mic said that the game is free right now. 2K24 is free. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. That's how trash this game is. But it's just the fact. Like I told you, I mean the overall experience. Uh, one game you can make eight threes in a row. The next, and they have you missing wide open. And it's like it's the same fucking shot. I, I'm just tired of everything with this game. And I'm and I'm I'm about to be honest with y'all too, bro. Um, y'all, we need to start taking a stand. I'm I'm not saying protest, but like, this is a this is the worst basketball game I've ever fucking played, bro. Like like I'm be on some real shit. This is the worst basketball game I have ever played, right? And like I said numerous times, it's crazy because out of all of the two Ks, I probably shot the best on this one, right? Like, percent-wise, like, you know, being consistent, efficient, it was probably this 2K. But it's the it's the inconsistent problem I have with this game. It's the multiplayer experience I have with this game. It's not just a wreck. It's park. It's theater. It's every single time. It's the same shit. You see what I'm saying? And nobody can't sit there and say, well, nah, sometimes, you know. And don't get me started with latency. That's another broken problem. The servers are the worst. 2K don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? The last time I recall when Season 8 dropped, right, y'all? When the Season 8 dropped, last time I checked, right, there was a problem with the little battle passion that they have in the game. 
And it took them, what, an hour to fix that problem. So for once you were saying, nah, I took it not just about money, then explain that. Explain how when there's a problem with buying the battle pass, which is something I would never fucking do, because you, in my opinion, it's really not worth it. You're, you're spending money to level up on a trash game. You see what I'm saying? I mean, what do you gain from it? Garbage-ass rewards? But like I was saying, it's funny to me how the battle pass had a problem with you purchasing it because there was some glitch where you don't get your you know, so-called rewards, whatever you want to call it, right? Which are the same shit every single season, a mascot and some ugly ass suit, right? Let's just call it what it is, right? They fixed that problem within what an hour, but matchmaking ignored, right? People throwing the game ignored, you know, the overall gameplay experience ignored. You see what I'm saying? And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired of getting on a game, you know, you and y'all know what it is, 2K. Y'all know what it is. You get on the game, right? Okay. You know, ooh, I'm, I'm, I can't miss a shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping for real, right? Shoot, contested shots. You just, you, you in rhythm. Your very next game, all of a sudden they got you missing that shots that you just previously hit. And that's not what gets to me. What gets to me in Random Wreck is the fact that I can never have a, a, a bad game on any of my my players. Like, you know how, like, you start off 0 for 2. Or 0 for 3. I, that can't be me. Because if, if, if I do that on any of my mod players, guess what? The randoms around me, it don't matter if they gold, purple, silver, bronze, casual. They, they don't play their part. To where I got to be a damn superstar on any player that I'm playing with. Whether it's Jared, Cody, Yella, Julio, which y'all see right now in the, in the footage. Right now, Julio's my, my newest build that I literally just had BC saved up. And I got bored, so I made a new build. He has a 93 ball. Right? Similar build to Cody. He just has a 93 ball. Cody has a 75 three ball. But it don't matter what build I'm playing with. If I'm not perfect, we're losing. And then that's just how it is. And I'm going to make another video um, probably in a couple of, probably in an hour or two. Because when I'm done with this video, I'm going to give me something to eat. But like I said, man, like when it comes to 2K25, y'all, like I'm, I'm really considering um, not buying, not buying 2K25. I might get the game when it's on sale, like how this, how it is every year, right? You know, you don't gotta spend your money early on a game because guess what? It's gonna be free. It's gonna be probably free or on sale in a couple of months. And for the city 2K right now, um, that's what it's looking like it's gonna be. And I promise you guys, and I said this in damn near almost every day I just previously dropped. Let that new college football game be dope. I promise you, I promise y'all, 2K will be in trouble. They already are in trouble, but it's the fact that, like I said, let that new game be fun. 25 is, I'm going to tell you right now, bro, I don't expect no major changes in 2K25. And I'm going to tell you right now, if they do this in 2K25, do not be excited. If they put matchmaking in the game, don't be excited, because guess what? It should have been in the game. There's nothing... Oh, we got matchmaking, but you 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 talking about that, Jay? But it should have been in the game ever since Next Gen was announced, and they want to put crossplay in game modes. We shouldn't even have to ask for matchmaking because the people who make this game they should know the community, but they don't. See what I'm saying? I feel like I sound like a broken record every video I talk because it's like I've said this numerous times. But you still have people out there. You know, they want a logo. Like, I'm I'm just tired. Of, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of this. You can, it's funny. I played two red games today, okay? The second game, somebody threw the game for no reason. And the person that threw the game was trash as fuck. See what I'm saying? Two games in, somebody want to throw the game. Two games in. In high red, because I was playing on Jared's build, by the way, too. Two games in. And you're already dealing with bullshit. See what I mean? You can't enjoy this game because that's how it is. It's it's going to pace you off, y'all. I want y'all to know that. I know y'all gonna see these highlights, but you balling. These are from weeks ago. These little highlights you got are, are not like, I mean, you see this from clearly season seven, but these are from weeks ago to where I, I think Julio was like an 84 overall in, in these clips. He wasn't even a 90 yet um, because T was on like her new... She was doing a, you know, the road to 99 thing. Y'all might see her in a couple weeks, but she's the one diamond up Julio. Um, 
she was on like a 70 overall PG build because she was saying like she was tired of 2K being boring, but she was doing Road 99 Challenge. So, yeah, that's what she was on. But it's just playing NBA 2K25 is, is, is needs to be studied, bro, because I've never played a game ever in my life that pisses you off. Not even in an hour. Give, give you about 20 minutes, you're going to be pissed off. Whether it's inconsistent play, whether it's your teammates, whether it's the gameplay, like I'm just sick of this shit. And we and we really need to not buy this shit, bro. We really need to not to. Like I'm really pushing for it. I'm hoping, and I know it's not called instant relay, but I'm I keep calling it that. I'm hoping the new instant relay game, you know, takes off. And people and 2K needs to see like we not gonna buy your shit, nigga. We not buying this shit. Because you niggas don't care. You don't care. But as soon as the battle pass, that go down. Oh, you fix that in a hurry. See what I'm saying? Y'all y'all become, you know what I'm saying, professional fix. All of a sudden, y'all know how to correct the, the certain amount of pay. You know how to You make sure you get every reward in the battle pass. Like, I'm tired of 2K. It's nothing about money. You cannot, again, I said this again. I'm going to say this again. You cannot make a career out of playing 2k anymore this isn't 2016 this isn't 2017 okay you can even say 2018 because you still have people making careers on 2k duke dennis prime example we all remember duke dennis 2k18 used to be on that stretch big game was playable but this shit right here not playable bro it's not playable um and like i said ever since uh the next gen console was announced Gaming has took a major fall. I mean, major fall. I, I feel like I've been robbed of $500. Like, nah, seriously, real shit. I really feel like I've been robbed of $500. Because it's like, oh, see, I got a PS5 and they got a PS4. But what's the, what's the difference? I feel like ever since I've played my PS5, I've been more aggravated than actually enjoying the game. Oh, because you only play 2K. That's not the case. Um, there's other games like Madden took a major fall. Bro, have y'all not realized this? The only fun mode in Madden is just, Madden and 2K have the similar problems. The two modes that carry the game are the ones with the worst experiences. For example, what you mean, Jay? Madden, their best mode, and hear what I'm saying. When, when you talk about want to enjoy the game, have fun with the game... Their best mode on the game right now is the yard, okay? You got your own players. You're, you can play online, right? You know what I'm saying? You can have fun. You see what I'm saying? You you can actually have fun. It's not a pay-to-win mode. The yard is not pay-to-win, okay? You can have fun playing Madden in the yard. But the problem is, right, it lags too much, right? Every time you play the yard, you can't even finish. You can't even get three games in because you done lagged out two of them. And, and if you if you play Madden, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you play Madden, you play the yard. With 2K, not only is the matchmaking broken, right? But they put you with players that put you in losing situations. Or they're, go they're going to put you in situations to make you lose the game. No matter if you do your part or not, finish with a teammate grade, you're going to get blamed because some people on your team are clueless to the game of basketball when we are in season eight, okay? Currently, you're looking at season seven highlights though, right? We are in season eight and you still have people who don't have a clue on how to use their build, who don't have a clue of understanding the game of basketball, who don't know what spacing is, who don't know what ball movement is. You got point guards still, and I've been said this, running away from the inbound, Right? You got all of this bullshit going on. And instead of 2K, at least say, you know what? We're going to take a look at this matchmaking. We're going to take a look at the wreck and see what we can do to, you know, fix these issues. Because it's one, it's arguably, you know, the most popular game mode in their game right now. Right? If you notice, every new season, people are asking what the wreck, what the wreck jerseys looking like. Because that's all they care about. Because that's the only thing really exciting about the new season is, oh, what they do with the jerseys, what they do with the red jersey, what, what's, what's the court looking like? And y'all know what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? But both of, both of the game modes are both, are, are you know, most likely to piss you off. You know what I'm saying? 95 or 94, whatever you want to call it, percent of the time. 
because that's just the game experience, bro. And, and I'm tired of sound like a broken record. I'm tired of 2K. This, but like I said, is but my final straw. If, if a new culture ball game drop, and that if I'm having fun and on that game, I don't care if I'm losing. If I'm having fun playing that game, y'all might as well cannot. I mean, I still have like highlights stuff like that. But when it comes to 2K streaming, 2K don't expect me to stream this shit. Don't expect me to, you know, talk about this. I will probably return until we get some information about 25. That don't mean I'm buying the game yet. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, you're going to have some idiot in the comment section. Oh, you probably just can't afford it. My nigga, I make content. <laughs> and I'm monetized. You think I can't afford NBA? You think I can't afford a damn 2K game? I, I make content. You see what I'm saying? You really think in your mind that I can't afford the game? You're, you're, you're talking to a person that's partnered on YouTube, monetized. Use your brain. Um, but like I said, bro, the next time y'all might get some 2K, I mean, some, some actual talk from me when it comes to 2K, bro, is I still got to read y'all comments, right? So that's still underway. I didn't forget about that. You know what I'm saying? I got to read y'all comments. Um... So when we get some 2K25 information, because right now we're not getting shit. That's what I'm saying. reason why I've been slacking lately, because there ain't nothing really to talk about. But like I said, this order right here, I'm really considering to not buy NBA 2K25, bro. And like I said, I, I can y'all gonna see, oh, but in these highlights, you balling. Yeah, but like I said, it's inconsistent, dog. It's inconsistent. If I shoot six, damn near 70% from the three-point line w without a damn zen, mind you, and that's not because I'm a that's not because I'm an elite shooter. That's not because I'm comp. That's because I take the smart shots, right? And then on top of that, 2K has boosted offense damn near every season. If I'm shooting almost 70% from the three-point line without a damn zen, why why are you making me miss? And I'll shoot the same way I just shot previously in this green all of a sudden. To where it's like, bro, and again, it's Mike wanting to blame because he literally admitted it that. You're not going to make every shot. So what's the point of putting, of, of having a green in the game? Why, if, if you're not going to make every shot, why, why put green or miss? I don't know if y'all might think that sound crazy, but think about it, right? If we're not going to make every single shot, then what's the point of taking whites out of the game? If we know our jumper, correct? And we are timing the shot regardless if it goes in or not, why take whites out the game? Oh, because we had Zens? We still have Zens. People are Zenning right now as we speak. And y'all have no clue. I know it. I have people that came and told me they got a Zen. <laughs> oh, but why you ain't say nothing? What, 2, 2K don't give a fuck. They don't care. Go on TikTok. Type in NBA 2K24 Zen. Tutorials. Multiple. People in the comments, yo, I just ordered mine from Amazon the other day. Yo, can you help me how to use it? People are cheating. They don't care about this shit. But 2K, don't, like I said, they don't give a fuck either. So why? Th that's what I'm saying. There's so much wrong with 2K that, like I said, I don't even want to play this shit, dog. Like, I really don't. You play, I play. Yo, the, the last, when T was streaming last night, was playing 99 overalls. First, I really thought, I thought the first game when I, when I got kicked, I got booted cause from people on the other team because they couldn't stop Cody whatsoever. But I'm starting to think it was the servers. And I don't know. It could have been they, because again, it was very suspect how T invited somebody she knew in their stream or something like that. We were playing 99s. And I and I told y'all, Cody played 99s, 92. It don't matter who you play against. He's a solid player, right? Cody was player to have. He was bowling, right? All of a sudden, he get kicked out of the game. And then they start double teaming the PG. It's like they they booted me out the game just so they can, you know, get the easy win or something like that. And then the second game, Cody had damn near 30, damn near 25 going into halftime against 99s, right? And then get, I get lagged out, right? But when I'm losing the game, shit smooth. No lag outs, no nothing, bro. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all, I feel like I, I sound like a broken record. Because if y'all y'all know me, y'all know this channel, how many times have I covered that? Way too many, right? I know. And it's aggravating, okay? Now, I guess what we can do is, um, I'm about to get to some of these comments. I, guess, I know I got some comments. We got to still finish that out. Um, but I'm telling you right now, bro, uh, when the new game drop, y'all, 
please, please. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all really rock with me, okay, if you rock with J-Mid, if you would, you know, support J-Mid and whatnot, when I go to this new college football game, I, I really want you guys to, you know, follow me, okay, and, and witness me having fun on a game, right? Because this ain't it. I know y'all said, bro, you always speak in facts about the 2K shit. Th that's cool and all. But that don't mean I'm enjoying the game, right? Just because y'all see me stream the game, enjoy you know what I enjoy? I enjoy y'all supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Pause, okay? Y'all get my whole point, though. When I go live, I do that for y'all because y'all like to talk to me and engage with me and talk to me during the stream and, you know, be on some chill type shit. You see what I'm saying? That's why I do that, right? When I make these videos... It's for y'all. Yeah, I love making content. Yeah, I care about the Twitch community because it was something I grew up watching, right? But it's for y'all. So when I make this move to the new college football game, and if it's fun, I really want y'all to take that journey with me and watch me have some fun on a game that, you know what I'm saying, is brand new that is only for one console, right? Next-gen consoles only, right? Same thing with GTA 6. When that game drops next year, I want you guys to stay with me Right? Because I feel it'd be, oh, he don't drop 2K content no more. I ain't finna watch it. Nigga, who is dropping 2K content? You tell me somebody right now. This shit is cooked. Ain't nobody making 2K content. You know what people are doing? They doing IRL shit because that's what people really, that's what's entertaining, right? That's what's entertaining is doing IRL stuff, which I told you I'm about to start doing some more of that as well, right? Right now, I just don't, I, I don't like really doing them right now because like I said, I'm focused on, you know, my content. Like, I, I love making my content. It's just, when it comes to, people always ask me, I stopped streaming 2K or why aren't you streaming? Because I'm not enjoying it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm getting subs. Of course. You know what I'm saying? You got, the last stream I did, I gained like 30-some subscribers, right? Appreciate y'all love and support, right? But that doesn't mean I'm enjoying playing 2K because I'm not. I'm enjoying y'all. You see what I'm saying? And what I'm telling y'all right now, right, you need to start considering to not buy NBA 2K25. I don't give a fuck who see this video. I don't care if a damn dev see this video. I don't care. Because where the hell was the damn dev team half the damn game? After season one, motherfuckers disappeared and made changes instead of aware in the community, the changes they were making. See what I'm saying? So I have... I don't have no, I don't care who see this shit, bro. And I'm standing on what I'm saying too, bro. I'm really considering this and I buy that fucking game, bro. Um, and I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all it's just I want y'all to stay with me. Um I'm not I'm telling right now, I'm not just a content creator that's 2K made. I don't need 2K. Why do you think these other niggas left the 2K community? My favorite YouTuber, and again, I've said this number times, but I get a lot of people that are new to this channel, but I'm going to say it again. Y'all remember the, the, the Cash Nasties, the, 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 um, the Jester, the Lasers, the Lost and Unbound? I grew up watching those people, right? Kel hit them up. You know what I'm saying? Pretty Boy Fredo, even though he on some weird stuff lately. I, don't, I, I, don't, I think Kel left because he said that he just wasn't really, I don't know. He said that like it was some weirdish going on to where... He felt like the content creating shit, he wasn't really, you know, it wasn't for him or something like that. I don't know. But Kel, I used to watch Kel all the time. There's a lot of people I used to watch, bro. You see what I'm saying? Um, and then the reason why I used to watch them a lot is because, like, they were enjoying the game. But there's a reason why they left this shit. Because they've already noticed, you know, you cannot make a career off this game. This game is not something you want to do. You got a better chance of going outside, of streaming in Walmart, right, and having a better chance of getting some type of following than playing this shit right here, bro. Because this ain't it, dog. This is not it. I'm telling y'all right now, this game right here, and I don't care how much... Y'all, oh, the highlights you cook... It, it doesn't mean I'm enjoying the game. That means I know how to use my builds. Of course. Of course, I, I know how to use my builds. I got play styles. I told you I'm an all-around type of player. I like to do, do a little bit of everything, bro. That's my play style. No matter what build I'm on. You see what I'm saying? But when it comes to enjoying the game, I'm not enjoying this. Same thing, you play Squad Wreck. Me and T play. Look at the stream last night on her channel. T T B Ball in 24, by the way, T. I'll make sure I'll go support T. And Mr. And Black. Mr. Talks Black on YouTube. I think that's his YouTube channel, right? But he's Black said he deleting this shit. I don't blame you though. I'm not delete. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
I only just wanted to delete it, yeah, because I think T said that she might stream again. And if y'all didn't know, T's about to, I think, move. So, like, she might, if y'all, you know, if y'all support T, if y'all are a fan of T, um, y'all not going to really see her be live because she's about to move and stuff like that. So, um, she wants to get some more, you know, games in before she has to take apart her setup and move to where she's not going to be streaming, things like that. So, that's why I haven't deleted 2K yet, right? And she want to run. So I don't mind running with T, right? But like I said, we talk in circles, y'all. We really talk in circles. And I've had it with this game. I've had it with this, you know, this community. I'm just done. You know, like I said, this reason why people leave. This reason why people leave and they don't come back. It's, it's almost like I'm free. You see what I'm saying? I'm free. You see what I'm saying? I don't need 2K. I don't. It's almost like 2K needs me. You feel what I'm saying? That might sound crazy because I only got 2,000 followers. But when it comes to a person that keeps it real, that's not going to kiss ass, that's going to you know, stand on business, that's the kind of person I am. Now, again, because you're going to have somebody in the comment section, oh, but when you said you deleted the game, you ended up coming back. Because T, if y'all don't know, me and T are like uh, brother and sister. Like we, T's my teammate. And T was like, going through it with randoms in the wreck, right? And I was like, man, I ain't playing that shit. But T was like, like, I, like I need help, right? And I'm like, all right, I guess I can come back and help you a, a few, right? And then you already know we make content. So it, it's not like, oh, no, you came back because, you know, you, you like 2K. No, that's, no, I don't. I really don't. I really came back because T needed somebody to run with. You see what I'm saying? When she was on the game. Because right now, I think TV playing this like they have anyway. Right? But when she was on the game, like, a couple of... You could argue, what, a, two months ago? Because I think when I deleted the game, it was about two months ago. Um, T was like, man, like... I, I miss my teammate or something like that. Y'all know we like a brother and sister duo type shit. Right? So I was like, okay, I don't mind, you know, come back for a few. But... That don't mean we enjoy the game, y'all. We don't enjoy this game. And my last stream, matter of fact, um, a lot of y'all were probably going to say, oh, but she was missing, blah, blah, blah. Th those are just one of those days where when you're playing 2K, you're not making your shots. Um, it's it's going to aggravate you. And that's what I was going through um, that last stream. But, you know, like I said, I enjoyed you guys. I didn't care about the game because the game, you know what I'm saying? It was real. like I said, the shots I was missing, I know I can make them shots. You know what I'm saying? I know I can make those. But guess what I also know? Latency, inconsistency, all of that's taken into factor to why you're going through this. And like I said, when it comes to NBA 2K25, I, I don't consider buying this shit, bro. I, I really don't. I want, and I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm going to say it again, I want them to clean house. If you don't know what clean house means, it means you fire damn near everyone. Because shit is not looking looking to improve. If I'm keeping it a stack, if we keeping this shit real, ain't nothing improving with this game. Or in NBA 2K25. Let me ask you a question real quick, bro. And again, like I said, I'm gonna get to y'all comments in probably the next video or so because I know we got a lot of comments to get to and things like that. Let me ask you guys a very simple question, right? Do you honestly, in your mind, think about it. You watch this video, right? I don't, I don't care if you're playing a red game, you know, my career, the, you know, park, stage, where, fuck it. I don't care what you're playing. Hear what I'm saying to you right now in this mic, which I hope you guys can hear me, okay? Because that'd be crazy if you couldn't because last time, oh, we couldn't hear you, Jay. What do you honestly think? If you know 2K, if you've been playing 2K for the last couple of years, you know how 2K does things, what do you honestly think in your mind that they're going to do something different in 2K25. What do you think they're going to do? And like I said, the things that they should have been doing, is that's not that's not new. Like, they might try to throw in your face in a couple of months, uh, uh, be ready for the new wreck matchmaking, right? That's not new. You should have been had it in the game. See, they're not going to get me with bullshit like that. And the reason why I said that is because it, it, they should have been had that. That's not new. See what I'm saying? Or uh, status now only affects your only play. That's not new. Don't let them fool you with shit like that. 
You know what's new? Locations. You know what's new? Gameplay and um and changes and shit like that. Feel what I'm saying? That's what's new. Things that makes the game a better experience. Pro play was a terrible idea. Why was it a terrible idea? I said this numerous times. Sound like a broken record, right? Everybody got the same shit. Step back, John Wall, Jamal Murray behind the back. Now, me personally, I only use those. I only use Jamal Murray behind the back on probably about two builds, which is Yellow, which is a PG build, and uh, Julio's build, because they both got ninety three balls. And those uh, that Jamal Murray behind the back animation shit can be OP, especially if you have a high percentage on a shot and you know how to create separation. So that's why I use it, right? But my whole point is everybody's using the same shit. It's like how last year, Steve Francis, you guys, I'm not repeating the same thing, but y'all know what everybody was using six last year, right? And they thought pro play, because they claim they added 400 plus, whatever you want to call it, new animations, was going to fix that. And it did not. If anything, it made the game, it made the game play worse. It made the game feel slow, right? You can't control your my player. And it was a horrible idea. Like I said, I'm asking you guys again. What do you honestly think they're going to do different in 2K25? If you can be like, yeah, honestly, I don't know. That's the problem. See what I'm saying? We are in a next-gen era. Probably within the next year, it's going to be a PS6. Honestly. And if that's the case, how do y'all feel? Do y'all feel that you guys have been robbed of your PS5? Because I feel like I have. I have yet to really explain. Now, like I said, it's hopefully this new game that dropped and GTA 6. Hopefully that changes my overall experience on a next gen product right but right now it's not there bro things have gotten worse if you're going to keep saying i don't know what they're going to do that is the problem that we need to be talking about that is the issue that gets ignored a lot the fact that we can understand that 2k really probably not going to be that different 2k25 this city i can almost guarantee you guys will be back in the game Yes, they're probably going to make it smaller, but it will be back in the game. And if not, they're going to be naming something else. It's My whole point is going to be back in the game. Okay? It'll be back in the game. So don't be fooled by 2K. Don't let them lie to you. Um, This is disgusting uh, work that we're seeing, by the way, especially by Mike Wynn, bro. Um, He's a gameplay developer, I believe. Um, and he hasn't said a word, okay? Don't get me with the wool. Mike Wang, don't really talk to the next 2K about the drop. And that's the problem. Do you not understand? Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys not understand that Mike Wang has something to do with the gameplay? Do you not understand that? For him to not say nothing is a bad look, bro. Because it's almost like, oh, yeah, issues with the game. He's not going to say nothing. Or even if he made a change move to the game, he's not going to say nothing. But he'll tell you in tweets, the game will not be touched. There's a tweet right now that I can probably go find on his Twitter page, right? Which is Baluba, by the way. Mike Wink's Twitter is Baluba, right? And you can find a tweet to where somebody said, yo, Mike Wink, please don't touch the game. And he said the game will not be touched. And ladies and gentlemen, where, what do we have here? It's almost like... Am I getting pranked? Because you just said you wasn't touching the game. And not even, like I said, when the game first came out, not even in a month, the game was touched. Not only was the game touched, the game was ruined, right? This is my last point I'm going to say, and then I'm probably going to get out of here with this video. Right, and y'all see, this is T's second account, by the way, too. That's her second account. But she was on her PG build. Um... A lot of these players, when the game first came out, by the way, they could not throw a rock in the ocean. I was one of them. Season one, and the streams are they're still up. You can go back and rewatch. Season one, I could not shoot. The game first came out, I couldn't shoot. But the one thing I told you guys, I was like, yo, one thing about J-Mid, I always figure something out. So when I knew I couldn't shoot, right, I took my time to my career because I was trying to like, there's something I got to figure out with this little shot cue shit, right? That I'm going to have to figure something out, right? And I always adjust. You guys, once again, you've been there, you've seen the streams, you've seen, not only have I, I found my shot that same week to where I, the game first came out, I couldn't shoot. 
but I found my rhythm to where before the shot even went in, I was telling y'all that's green. People were like, bro, nah, Jay, let me find out you got this. And I'm like, nah, bro, I told you I was going to figure something out, right? The next week, okay? Not, matter of fact, in a couple of days, okay? I'm missing shots. So it's like, yo, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I was just... I went from saying that's green to I got to guess. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't know what I'm doing differently. Comes to find out the game was touched. Right? To where instead of letting the players. And see, that's what kills the game. Players that are awful at the game. And 2K goes out the way to help. You know, to, I mean, not to, to break the game because they're not good enough. I hate that shit, bro. Like, people kept saying, like, so if Chico would have left the game, how was his one? How would you be right now? I'd be perfectly fine. Because I told you, my place, I play both ends anyway. I'm not just a, a offensive catch-and-shoot player. I would, I would attack the basket. I would do all of that. I play defense. I do all of that. So I would not care. If, as a matter of fact, I wish they would have left the game alone. Because there were people, in the, when the game first came, they were shooting 10%, 8% from three. These guys were not even, you know, G League or Summer League prospects. That's how bad of players they were. But what did 2K do? You know, touch the game. It's going to be the same thing on 2K25. The same shit, right? Game first come out. Yo, Jay, I ain't going to lie. 25 looking, it's looking, it's looking like it's going to be solid, Jay. Give it two weeks, bro. Give it two weeks. Now, like I said, I could be wrong. Who knows, they could probably make a fun game, which I hope they do. They probably could make a fun game to her. Guess what? <laughs> this game, it, it's, it's got potential. But you know another going to have potential? NBA 2K22. You know, you know another going to have potential? NBA 2K23. You know another game that have potential? NBA 2K24. And what happened to all of those games that have potential? NBA 2K19. What happened to all of those games that have potential? They all what? They failed, right? So that's what? Four or five games I just named to y'all in a row that have failed the last three to four years. 19 have potential to be great, right? Even though I still got it in my top two Ks. 20. I don't even, I don't know why people try to act like 20 was good. If we didn't have quarantine, y'all would not be saying that. 21 failed. 22 fail, 23 fail, 24 fail. That's four 2Ks that I just named that were failures. And guess what? Next Gen was out in those games. 21 with, I mean, 2K20 wasn't a no Next Gen product, right? But 21, 22, 23, and 24 were. And it was nothing but failures. That's why I want them to clean house. Anytime. It could be any sport. Any franchise has four bad years. Four. It's time to make moves. It's time to get rid of people. It's time to go another direction because this ain't going to cut it. There's not been nothing good about the 2K community. And when the devs aren't talking to the community, it don't make nothing no better. It don't. But because there's this the only basketball game available right now that's where we at that's where we at with it it's the only basketball game out you know people gonna buy the game they're gonna buy the game because no there's no other basketball game out to challenge 2k to give them competition i'm tired of covering randoms i'm the only youtuber on on right now that, that talked the most about randoms in the wreck i'm sick of talking about them at this point, if niggas gonna be ass, they gonna be ass. I don't give a fuck. I, I have, I am tired of talking about randoms. Okay. I noticed some of you guys like the fact that when I talk about randoms, because you be going through it in the wreck while I be talking about it. I'm what, what is there to say? We talking in circles. You guys know how the wreck is, and it's a next gen product, right? Next gen product. Um, I had so much minutes I left in my video, but. For now, I'm going to just read some comments, and then we're going to get up out of here, y'all. I appreciate y'all sticking to me in this video, though. All right. Let's get to some comments real quick. Um, like I said, I really consider it to not, not buying this shit, bro. 
not buying 25. Um, if my comments will load up, I have some technical difficulty. All right, you got to come from a objective. I want new gen 2K25 prospect for PC. Now, let me tell you why this can't happen, object objective. Um, I just say that the community is the problem, right? Well, you know, a part of the big problem, because like I said, the devs are not off the hook, okay? Because they don't talk to nobody, right? Um, the reason why, you know, PC can't get 2K is because it is going to break the game, okay? All of these hacks and mods, it's going to break the game. Just like, look at COD. COD allows you to play crossplay with PC people, right? People be cheating on, on PC, and they got crossplay on they cheat. They be cheating. Yeah. They be cheating. Right? I'm telling you. So that, that, that's why that can't happen. Um, I'm having some internet problems, y'all. I don't know. I can't even read some comments because literally I'm about to have, I, don't, I think I'm about to have a, we might have a storm or something coming on because uh, I don't know. And yes, I'm, in, I'm on East. It looks like about, I hear thunder. It uh, looks like we're about to have some storm. Hopefully we don't lose no power. Cause right now I don't even have service on my phone. Um, but I mean, we'll see. Uh, but I seen, yeah, we, we can't have uh, PC gamers get 2K because that's just gonna make things worse. Um, then Omar says, I think 2K25 is gonna be trash. I, f I think the same way. And it's okay to be honest. Because like I said, look at the last four 2Ks and last four years we had. There were all 2Ks that had potential to be great not, not even good not even solid but great and what happened to all of those two k's they all failed it's like it's like it's like a quarterback right you draft a quarterback rookie deal i'm pretty sure it's four years right if those and any of those four years he didn't show any type of improvement or any type of development right it's time to move on that's how it works see what i'm saying that's how it works if you hire a coach and he hasn't showcased any improvement with the team, any type of, you know, getting the team to the postseason or the playoffs in four years, it's time to move on. And matter of fact, nowadays, you don't even, they don't even get four years. They get about three this time. You get about three years to show. If you can't get that team back to what it should be, you're, you're getting fired. There's no talk. They will fire you right on the spot. Not even in the NFL, but basketball. Monty Williams was just signed by the, by the Pistons last season. After this year, he was fired. Is Monty Williams a bad coach? No. Is the Pistons a bad team? Of course. But my whole point is, you don't get that time anymore. They make moves. With 2K, it's been, they get too many opportunities and to fail, 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 and fail. And it's sad because the games have potential, but when the devs don't know the community, when they're not connected with the community, and it's not about the devs, if they could get people that would be connected with the community, right? If the game was not just about money, if it was about basketball, we could be seeing some improvement. But this game is not about basketball. Every new season, you're giving us a mascot. A mascot is pointless. Pointless. Everybody got the same shit. And that is not what the community wants. Nobody wants to have the same reward as somebody else. Like, no, we, we don't want that. Oh, we want kids to get the game. No, you know, the game, not just for adults, it's for kids. Oh, really? It's for kids? Then why are the VC prices skyrocket? You see what I'm saying? Why are the VC prices that if the game is for kids too? Kids can't afford that shit. They can't afford that. They can't. But the game for kids, right? It's for kids. Yet yeah, the prices it, it costs you eighty. Well, it costs you about I think it costs you about eighty dollars to make a build, right? Not to make a build, but to, you know, you know, get the build that you. Let's say you want to get the build to um, no, to buy the game is sixty dollars. I'm sorry, my fault. To buy the game is sixty dollars. You get the game, right? You just spent sixty. You ask for sixty, they give you sixty, right? Okay. You make your little build, you were 60 over. You ask your parents, oh, I need I need fifty dollars now. Cause my bid only is 60. I just gave you 60, right? Kids cannot afford that. But the same ones, the game for kids, they can't afford this. Builds were never this amount of money. 
But what 2K did when they seen there's no other best game out, oh, they're going to have to pay these prices for these builds because they ain't no best game out. These builds were never this expensive, bro. I don't recall builds ever being this expensive in a 2K game, ever. But because the game is about money, right? And it's not about basketball. That's all they care about, to get you to spend money. Notice how in, in the swag store, whatever you want to call it, the little store, you can buy things, you know, to get your, you know, character looking right, fit-wise, right, designer. Those are the same things you saw in 2K23. Do-rags, right? Hoodies, right? All of this stuff. It's the same stuff. They just put different colors. But it's, you were trying to figure, okay, was that in the game last year? Yeah, it was. Why is it? I thought it used to be 15000 Now it's 25000 BC. It's like, 2K. Are you smart? Are you stupid? Why are you not only reusing the, you're, you're not only reusing the same things, but you're making the price higher and thinking people are going to want to buy it? <laughs> There's no point. And VC don't transfer over. Oh, but let me guess. That's going to be something new that they try to introduce to y'all and to get 25. Oh, your VC will now transfer over from the previous game. That's not new because it should have been happening. It should have been happening. So don't let them fool y'all with that either, bro. Like I said, man, when, when it comes to 2K, bro, um, like I said, I'm, I've just had it with them, bro. Like, it's... There's so much like you can't you can't make it off this 2k shit y'all like, and I'm, I'm gonna just keep it real which i know some of y'all watch my content y'all watch my videos you cannot make it off of 2k no more those days are over that's why i told you i'm trying to move on from 2k yes like i said numerous times said it's probably about 50 million zillion times that it's a game i grew up watching it's something it's a part of my childhood but we need it's time to move on Okay, it's time to move on. Um, and like I said, I'm con I'm I'm really considering to not buy and be a two K twenty five because like I said, we use we use our brains here. Pause. What's, what what they gonna do differently? What are they honestly gonna do differently to where? Oh yeah, I'm getting that game. What they gonna do? You're not getting the NBA two K sixteen seventeen parks back. That's not gonna happen. You and I both know that. And I feel like people gotta start understanding. Oh, they need to bring those parts, but that's not going to happen. And 2K has stated numerous times, they are trying to move forward. So y'all know that ain't going to happen. That's why I said it's called, it's, it's time to just be real with this shit, bro. This shit not going to improve. It's going to get worse. And it has gotten worse the last four to three, four years. I didn't say it to y'all. NBA 2K21, next year was announced. NBA 2K22, next year was out. NBA 2K23, next year was out. Now NBA took it 24, and here we are. That's four games. And all of them were horrible. All of them. And then the community makes things even worse. We've been had Zens in the game, but not how they make it worse? Because 2K tried to input a system to where not only they put 10, 50 million shot timings, 80 million shot timings in the game, they are not going to make you miss shots that you're, you're really supposed to hit. But because, you know, the game is trying to take away Zens, they're going to make you miss shots. That's why we went out and got a Zen. Because they realized, oh, you know, all of these timings, shit, all I need is a Zen, and I'm good to go. That's why people are getting Zens. And then they know took and not going to do nothing about it, bro. So, I mean, it's not like you're going to get banned by using a Zen. They don't give a fuck. You know, they don't care. Well, later I'm going to tell you about the auction house and my team. Again, that's something that should never been gone. But that's too, I told y'all, 2K about money. Bash for been saying this too. 2K is about money. It's not about basketball. NBA 2K22, they try to make you a rapper. It wasn't about basketball. I mean, these were signs to where 2K were showcasing, okay, we're, it's going to be a major downfall. You got all of these side quests. They got you doing 2K20. Okay, 2K22. They I didn't play 2K20, so I can't say what they were trying to do on 2K21, right? 2K22, they had you trying to be a rapper. 2K23, they had you trying to be a TikToker, doing all of these side quests and you dance looking like a fucking idiot on, on the damn game and shit. I mean, the most suspect moves that you could do in a TikTok dance. I mean, that was I, I don't know why 
out of they should let you pick and choose at least what dance you want to do. They had you throwing your like all of this weird suspect shit. Like weird as fuck, right? 2K24, they took out the quest, right? But the game is not about basketball. It's about money. It's about how can we get this user to spend a check, right? That's what it's about. And I've been playing against Zeners too, but I've been playing against most people that have been using a Zen. That's how I know I'd be losing people, I'd be cheating, right? And that's the thing too. The fact that I played the game the right way when I when I did play the game, um, and there's people that can cheat and get away with it, and you you're making me miss shots that I know I'm supposed to hit. Right, it's another frustrating part of the game to where it's like, I I don't, I don't want to play this shit, bro. See what I'm saying? But like I said, that's the end of this video, y'all. Hope you had to like, subscribe. Um, and yeah, man. Like I said, I've been slacking a little, but I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna get back to it. You know, be more consistent. And yeah, man. Jay Miss, I love you. I know homo type shit. And like I said, man, I'm out.